Good morning to everybody. I'm Marilou from the First Lyceum of Volos and see Julia from the Albert Einstein School of Turin. This year we took part in a European school exchange program between Italy and Greece. We chose to show the Mediterranean film because it shows how uh, people from different countries uh, of Europe uh, can interact each other. So we are going to debate on it. The first question is, which values film Mediterranean presents? Mm, the Mediterranean film, yeah. the values that preserves is, um, let's start, uh, the friendship, for example, what else, the historical... It passes an anti-war message because uh, the soldiers of Italy came to a uh, desert um, island and they, they were trying to get it there. Yes. Okay, and uh, it was uh, nobody there, and they had to do something. But in the end, uh, they became friends with the Greek they were in the island, and it was a message for uh, become friends, not uh, having a war. Okay, thank you, Poniki. Uh, what does family represent for you? Yes. Uh, family for me is a value, really important value, and everybody should uh, really give great uh, attention to it. We should all try to be part of uh, family and make our own families, uh, because uh, to me, uh, uh, my family is uh, my most important friend for me and uh, they should be, your family should be the one that will pass you values and um, mental. In the film we also saw um, how, um, how important is the family for everybody. Um, can I answer to this question? Yeah, sure. The movie wants to show um, that uh, miracles can be achieved between the the inhabitants of the island and between the soldiers and if there is no enmity among them. Okay, thanks for okay. this. And uh, as family is so important to you, uh, we would like to ask you how and if your family help you to feel uh, Europeans. Um, for example, by allowing you to do this class exchange. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, family has to encourage the, these kind of exchanges uh, because in this way we can um, um, we can know uh, other cultures uh, and uh, in this way we can uh, empowering Europe. And uh, I think that uh, family at first uh, has to have to um, encourage us uh, to take part uh, in this kind of exchanges. How can we see in this film friendship between Greek and Italian people? We can see it from the first, quite first scenes, because as uh, people, the soldiers, were not really cruel. Uh, firstly, we see friendship between them, and when they arrive at the island and while time passes, we see that they don't have the feeling of concrete because they have loved the environment, they have loved the people that they meet after a while. We see from the, their first moments together between villagers and uh, Italian soldiers that they start to have a really unique relationship between the priest, uh, for example, who um, welcomes the soldiers to the church and talks to them like they are friends, like they are familiar. And after a while the villagers who uh, also um, give them the mayor's house to live, who give them furniture, uh, people really welcome them and they don't feel like they are enemies. What do you think uh, we have to put first, our own country or uh, Europe? For me, um, I think uh, Europe can should go first. Uh, we should uh, all uh, have um, feel like Europeans, and to put our uh, European identity first, because um, we are union, and uh, we have to feel uh, we have uh, to feel the the feeling of togetherness. Okay. 
and um, uh, that's um, what unions mean. Union mean to me, and I hope the rest. Of us. Mm -hmm. So, do you think that, uh, for example, these days we see that uh, friendship bet between uh, Greek people and uh, Italian people is possible and it's beautiful? But do you think that uh, it could happen also between, for example, I don't know, Spanish students and German students, or uh, it's different for you? I think that uh, traveling is the key. If we travel a lot, uh, we make new friends. Uh, it's the best way to meet people and to make friends uh, between different countries. Anyway, in any case, uh, the friendship between people of other country is always possible because people has just to have just to uh, found a common point. Uh, that's the key. And we made class exchange just for this. So, uh, do you feel European or no? Yes, especially thanks to the news we receive from the whole world, from the internet, from media and so on. Because uh, nowadays uh, Europe is uh, <coughs> something we can't ignore as uh, we are a part of Europe and we are Europe. So in my opinion, it's very difficult to, to not, not to feel European nowadays. Okay, that's a good thing. So for you, now, nowadays, I mean, Europe uh, is not just an idea, but something that happens uh, every day in our lives, like uh, these weeks we spent together, and it was beautiful. Do you agree? Yes, we agree. It was very beautiful because we had the opportunity to meet each other better and uh, to have uh, more relationships with you and uh, with other guys. Uh, I agree with you. Because if uh, Italy and Greece wouldn't be in the European Union, we wouldn't have the chance right now to be here, to be here and to speak to each other, to meet, to meet, to meet new people. I think it's also a civilization exchange and a way of living. I guess that uh, Italian people might be a bit surprised by, by our way of living and we also might be surprised by yours way of living but the special thing is to accept each other the way they are and um, care and uh, accept difference. It's about diversity and acceptance. Yeah, we are all united because we are in Euro Union, European Union uh, in diversity, because every country has uh, his own, um, you know, customs. Do you think that every country has the same rights and richness is divided um, in the same way between European countries? I think that uh, we have the same rights, but uh, not in all countries, uh, because there are different uh, ways of thought. And I don't know what else. And what about richness in Europe? Do you think it's... Uh, uh, richness is a problem because uh, it separates the people and makes them uh, to fight each other. And this is not good because uh, we have to be united. Not to say, oh, this is the rich one or this is the poor one. We have to be equal. Uh, for example, in the f during the film, we saw that uh, the s Italian soldiers uh, changed their mind, their behavior, and uh, we would like to ask you why and why this happened. Maybe because they understood that uh, being enemy is not uh, a good thing, and uh, it doesn't help uh, living uh, in a good way. And I think this thought would be transferred uh, to Europe too. So we are all united. And so we simply can't be enemies. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you remember during the film, um, one day uh, an Italian, um, Italian boy arrived to that island in Greece and uh, met these uh, Italian soldiers. And uh, he told them that three years had, had uh, passed, but uh, they didn't realize it. And that's why uh, they find uh, good to stay with the Greek people. Beautiful friendship was born. So, uh, what about uh, Europe? 
uh, I mean, um, talking about uh, multinational enterprises. Uh, and uh, we would like to ask you if uh, we can compare multinational enterprises to a kind of uh, empires. Do you think it's possible or they are two completely different things? Actually, they are empires as they have uh, different uh, headquarters in different countries. For example, maybe they have uh, the central headquarter in Italy. I don't know, but uh, the factories uh, are abroad in countries where uh, uh, workers cost less. So yes, they can be compared to empires. One of the principal uh, value, uh, also with friendship, family, uh, was the respect because uh, they respect each other and so mm, thanks to this uh, they could became, become friends. What do you think about that? Yeah, respect is a very serious thing because uh, if you give respect you take respect and this is good because we can communicate better and uh, feel uh, more comfortable with each other. I think that in Greece, um, friends and, and respect is <coughs> very good for us, and <coughs> we. But that's all. I think it's the best way to have a relationship. If you have the respect from uh, one other person, you have to take the respect back from her, his or her. Just uh, if you respect uh, your culture first, uh, you can respect uh, other culture then, and. Uh, that's the way it's so important. So what do you think about uh, what to put first, Europe or your own country? I think that we have to put uh, before uh, our uh, own countries because um, for this reason, because uh, if we uh, recognized uh, as, as Italian first, uh, then we can concentrate uh, as uh, another feeling, another important feeling. And uh, we have to understand that uh, we have to be di diverse, but um, you have to c have uh, clear uh, in your mind uh, which are your um, powerful values in your own country and then share with others. Does anyone disagree? No. So do you some, all... Uh, some people think that uh, we should go for Europe first and your own country later because um, probably if you go only first with your country and then think about your European identity, there's a chance that you won't care about other countries, uh, that you will stay only as a national identity, that this is what you will recognize only. So there are also different views. But uh, if you have open mind, no matter what you choose first, it's on your own choice. Uh, to realize what's going on, really what's going on. And what's going on is unity. Yeah. Um, during the film, one of the soldier, Italian soldiers uh, said that um, he felt like, um, you know, betrayed by his uh, own country. Have you ever felt like, li like, uh, like him in that uh, moment or, uh, or not? And why? Well, Mm, the situation in Italy as a student uh, uh, it's not so similar but a little bit just because uh, we have uh, lots of problems in our schools uh, and uh, in our educational system and so yes we could feel betrayed by the state by our country because of this as we can't uh, have uh, uh, a sort uh, an educational system that allows us to be citizens so we are just people that study, yeah, we learn things, but uh, we don't leave school as citizens. So, yeah, we can feel betrayed in this way by yeah. the country. Yeah, I understand. What about Greek students? Do you ever feel like this? Yes, I feel betrayed because my government don't provide me the things I need for school. They don't provide me enough hours to, to learn the things as they are. They don't provide me a better educational system and uh, I don't have the efforts to go out uh, someday and to say that I am educated because uh, the educational system is poor and uh, 
I will not be a powerful uh, person in my mind. Um, also, something that we all noticed and we missed many years now is the art lesson you Italians do. It's something really important because school it's not only about math, physics, uh, ancient Greek history or anything like that. It's about uh, art too. And uh, we don't have this lesson for a little long time. All these years we don't have it and we would, I think that everybody would like to have an hour like that to relax and free your mind and be more artistic. Do you remember during the film that soldier that married uh, the Greek girl? Uh, when uh, the others, Italian, uh, wanted to come back to Italy, he didn't want because uh, he wanted to stay with uh, his wife. And uh, that's because uh, he, he found himself in Greece with, uh, with that girl. What do you think about this topic? Marriages between people from different countries are so important as uh, I think it's hard to take a decision like this one because uh, you decide to spend uh, hopefully the rest of your life with a person coming from another country so with a different uh, mentality another culture other traditions but uh, they're also useful for that European feel feeling we, we are trying to share and we are discussing about so they, they are so important, so hard, but so important. I think that uh, the Italian soldier and the Greek uh, woman uh, fell in love, and love is a very strong feeling. And uh, they could uh, live together and love each other without thinking about their differences in the way of thinking. You know, the, um, that time there was the war, the Second World War, but the um, Italian soldiers didn't seems like they didn't realize that because they came to an island and they stayed there for three years, but uh, they didn't make war. They lived like a uh, normal life. Why? Because there is no reason to have a war in a place you can live in peace. Because uh, we are not enemies, but there is no reason to have a war. We can live in peace and war is not a feeling or something you need uh, but it's just something you can avoid just living in peace with each other and just using respect uh, as a powerful value and accepting everyone. Like they were, they were in their own country so I can't find a reason to make a war. Yeah, yeah you're right. And uh, about uh, European Union. Uh, do you think uh, it um, has to be like uh, United States of America or different? Yeah, it's the same. Um, I think that um, as a European Union, we should uh, we should promote diversity and uh, not become one. We should avoid globalization uh, and uh, each country should keep their own uh, standards of living. Uh, al always we should all try to get better, but in our own way, because uh, diversity means union if it gets accepted. Yeah. So you think, excuse me, do you uh, want to speak? In my opinion, it's impossible to make Europe as the United States. As uh, when uh, the USA was founded, there were uh, uh, 13 states uh, uh, grown up together from people coming from the same country, from England. So nowadays uh, Europe should be seen uh, as, yes, as a union, but not a federation, as there are lots of countries with different uh, outlook and also a different history that is long. Uh, so 100, 150 years, so, so it's impossible to make Europe as the United States and that should be a good thing. Yeah, yeah also for me, we have our own language, our own customs, but we are all united. And let's not forget that the European Union's motto is unity in diversity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In and um, does the European Union uh, reflect 
um, these values that uh, Greek and uh, Italian people share or not? Do you think that European Union is just something, uh, just an idea or something that we all share? Uh, European Union is something that we all share because we are united uh, because of our differences. Because we don't, we aren't the same thing. Because if we aren't the same thing, we will be like USA. We don't want to be like USA. We have, we, we want to have our differences because this is the thing that make us come closer. From my point of view, <coughs> I believe that Europe un Unite uh, should promote uh, solidarity, brotherhood, solidarity, and unite. And uh, this can be achieved uh, uh, if we, if but if we think uh, uh, not by not thinking about not um, ourselves, by thinking like uh, in general profit. I think that um, European Union is some is something that we share. Uh, uh, every day, because uh, just for example, this uh, exchange is the demonstration that uh, we can uh, we live Europe every day, and um, th that uh, is the best way to do it. Yeah, also for me. So, the uh, other, you know, thoughts, reflections about this. Do you want to say? Maybe that countries that are able to help weaker countries uh, have to do so because in that way uh, solidarity will be promoted. Yeah, and do you ever um, lived, have you ever lived uh, uh, some <coughs> other different experience to feel Europeans or not? Um, this. Um this uh, uh, exchange program um, gave us uh, a lot of food for thought. And uh, we met different people with different uh, cultures, different thoughts, different way of thinking. And um, that's not, uh, that's something different. And uh, this is not, uh, it's not bad, we, we love diversity, and diversity don't mean uh, division. We are united in uh, the European Union, and uh, we, we love that, B with diversity, of course. I think that um, diversity, the diversities are important <coughs> also because uh, they are funny and interesting. It's funny to discover how uh, different cultures uh, do something um, or uh, talk, uh, the way of talking, the way of um, dressing maybe, um, the way of living quotidianity. I agree with Helena because it's funny to know the habits of the other countries because um, in Greece we are eating at uh, the midday and you are eating at the afternoon and it's funny because uh, we met each other of these differences. In the end, diversity is a value, just like family, friendship, respect, uh, and so, so something to to think to to think about. As uh, yeah, it's a value, and uh, it's something that uh, make us learning as citizens. Like what we t what we were talking before about our educational system that should uh, improve uh, the the learning of diversities, because it's a value. Mm -hmm. Another value is uh, love. For example, in the film uh, we saw that uh, love between um, that Greek girl and the Italian soldier was very strong. And uh, it makes um, the Italian soldier change his mind and uh, his, uh, his own choices. How do you think that um, we can improve our uh, our uh, way of living it in every day, every day. Love should be also friendship. So it's a uh, it's a small word with a big uh, a big meaning. So we can just love each other with respect, with friendship. 
with uh, just uh, when we meet uh, walking around we can smile to each other and uh, so we are in a situation of crisis in Europe and in the whole world and in our we should be happier and share love in order to fight and to start to fight this crisis situation and so love is also a sort of weapon against the situation we are living with Lucas because uh, uh, his thoughts are similar with my thoughts because I also think that love is a very powerful feeling and we don't have to care about money only because the crisis is economical crisis and uh, it's not a crisis of values and uh, we have to be united with solidarity and what is more saying Tivoli Ben doesn't cost anything right I don't think that uh, Greece and Italy only this time she pass passes a uh, economical crisis. I think that both countries and most countries in the world or Europe are uh, having civilization crisis. I think it's not only about economics and stuff. I think we have a general crisis of thoughts, minds, also money, but even civilization. I agree with Fedra because um, we have to start uh, to find a solution uh, beginning with um, an, hour, uh, an, uh, an exam of ourselves. Uh, if we change uh, like citizens, then we can change uh, our society and things that doesn't work uh, in our culture. Yeah. Uh, Italy and uh, Greece are um, the two um, the two countries uh, the most um, we have a strong crisis <coughs> more than the other European countries how do you think European Union could help us to overcome this big problem well yes European Union should help us with money of course but I think that uh, the biggest help we can get uh, is not from the European Union, but from ourselves. As uh, Elena was saying, we have to change our mind. As, uh, yes, there is a big economical crisis, there is a big civilization crisis, but, uh, uh, and also a crisis of values, if you want, but values uh, are uh, not uh, uh, spread uh, or uh, uh, stock titles and so on. We can uh, solve this values crisis and this civilization crisis by ourselves because uh, it's all uh, about us <coughs> if we share love and respect we can start to share values and solve the situation and then uh, the rest will come by itself I think so yeah money from European Union should be a good thing of course but uh, I think we have to start to change our mind before I also Elena, because if the uh, European Union can promote, uh, as uh, Costa said, uh, solidarity and friendship, and by this way we'll change our mind first and then the society. Yeah, but um, uh, after we change ourselves and uh, the way we are thinking, I think the uh, European Union should not pressure us, but uh, they should help us. Uh, not uh, with um, applying to a strict uh, laws and uh, strict um, yeah. limits, uh, but uh, they should uh, help us by by uh, promoting uh, I don't know uh, our culture and um, mm -hmm. uh, um, by foundations probably uh, I don't know. But uh, everybody should be aware from for our problems, and they all have to to help us um, solve them. Yeah. Okay. So thank you, everybody. And uh, as you could see, a united Europe is our goal, and uh, we will do anything to make it happen. Thank you. Thank you.